I've got a haul video for you today and this haul is from Melbury and Appleton which is um, a food shop in London but they actually do home delivery as well and as you know I'm not in London so I placed an order with them for a whole load of interesting goodies and I'm going to go through them. So the reason that I did this big shop from Melbourne Appleton was, was kind of inspired by the subscription boxes because recently there's been a lot of foodie um, subscription boxes out which I really like the idea of. They send you like a box every month with a whole load of interesting ingredients in them and I actually tried the Kitchen Nomad box and I did do a review of that so I'll pop the link below but I'm not sure if those boxes are, are still available anymore and they sent me um, a themed box and the theme was Korea so there was some nice Korean ingredients in it. But there was also a big tub of soy sauce and a bottle of sesame oil and some sesame seeds. Now all of those are things that I already have in the store cupboard so for value for money, I mean it's not that those things won't get used because they're obviously things that I use all the time which is, which is okay but I wasn't really experiencing any new products with it either. So that's what made me decide, you know what, I'm just going to take the money that I would have spent on a subscription box and buy some things that I would like to try. So recently I've been reading um, this book which is The Jewel's Kitchen by Bethany Keddy and it's a really interesting book and it's a collection of Lebanese, Moroccan and Persian recipes. So they're um, a type of cuisine that I wouldn't normally cook and I don't really have that many of the ingredients for so it seems like a, that was kind of the catalyst for like oh I'm, I'm just going to order some stuff instead of getting a subscription box this month I'm going to just do an order so I'll know what's coming it won't be a surprise but it'll all be new ingredients to me so that's the inspiration behind this haul. And the uh, Melbourne Appleton site, really easy to use, it arrived really quickly and it was really well packaged. The only thing is I thought that it was a little bit expensive, it was $5.99 for delivery. Um, so my whole shop, I've got my receipt here. My whole shop with the postage and packaging came to $29.38. So when you think the subscription boxes, they're around £25 anyway. So it's, it's fairly similar, especially as everything in this was something that I wanted. So I'm just going to go through and show you everything that I bought. And yeah, it's just as an alternative to a subscription box. So I hope it's interesting. The first thing I got were these vine leaves and that probably is something that you can get in the supermarket but I popped it in with this anyway as I was doing a big order and this is 350 grams and they were 199. Have already opened these, we've used these already. So I actually got this one with a recipe in mind, I've opened this one too and this was, it's called free care or free, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, free care I think and it's actually like a roasted grain and it's not one I've used before but I was actually surprised at the texture of it, it was quite um chewy like a, a chewy grain I guess would be the, the way that I described it and the packet it doesn't actually have any cooking instructions on and I was surprised that it says in the um, cookbook to cook it for 45 minutes because if I just bought this on its own I really wouldn't have thought about boiling it for that long so that takes a, a good while to cook up that one does and I got two packets of this pastry now it did come frozen so that's I guess another reason that you're paying a bit more for the packaging because it has to be refrigerated um, shipping it came frozen and this is it's like a shredded um, phyllo pastry but it's really really fine it's like angel hair fine and again I had a recipe in mind for this one so I got two packets of these and they were $2.99 each so the recipe that I've got in mind for that pastry is these venison and sour cherry nests now I was actually at the launch for this cookbook because it was at Food Blogger Connect last summer and it was a bit weird, I had won a competition but they revoked my competition win which was like a free ticket or I shouldn't have been informed that I'd won in the first place, I'm, I'm not really sure, there was some kind of mistake with it anyway and I, I did get to go but I ended up helping out backstage which which I wasn't that impressed with at the time, but I got to help assemble those canapes for the book launch and really that's an experience that I never would have had if that, that whole problem with the competition ha didn't happen, so I decided that I wanted to make them again and it's actually quite a special memory because I've never been to a cookbook launch before, let alone help backstage with it. So one ingredient that came up quite often in the recipes was pomegranate molasses and that's not something I've heard of before, it's really really thick and this is 300 mils and it was £2.39. I haven't opened it yet but I imagine it's going to be the consistency just by looking at it in the bottle of like a thick black treacle. Another ingredient that's new to me is these mastic tears 
Um, these are the medium size ones and this is actually resin that comes from a tree and in, in these recipes it's used as a thickening agent but on the back of the packet it does also say that it's used in um, cosmetics and perfumes as well which is quite interesting. I also bought this Lebanese 7 Spice and actually at the back of the book there is a recipe for this so you can make your own. I was thinking there would be 7 Spices in it but I've actually counted 20 and it's got an ingredients list on it. So those are pepper, cinnamon, pimento, cloves, cumin, frangreek, caraway, cardamom, ginger, nutmeg, coriander, salt, turmeric, mustard, garlic, chili, chili fennel, um, bay leaves, and it's got celery, I don't know if that's celery seed or celery salt, and it's also got cornmeal, which I imagine is to thicken everything out. So there are a few more than seven spices in that one, and it's 50 grams, and that one costs £1.45. I also got this bag of za'atar and this is 75 grams, it was 99 pence and in this there's sumac, thyme and sesame and you can really see the sesame seeds in it, there's big whole sesame seeds in there. This is another ingredient which is new to me and it's probably the one I'm most excited about using. These are malap seeds and they are seeds from cherries. They um, can be ground down to make like a powdered spice. So that's everything I got from Melbury and Appleton. I definitely recommend them if you want to check it out and I'm looking forward to using all of the things. There's some interesting ingredients there which is which is what I wanted to get out of the subscription box but I felt um, they lacked a little bit so kind of made my own up. And um, Have a great week guys, see you next week.